How goes it all? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hope you guys have a great and exceptional evening. Uh, got my little rant before I go to bed tonight, and I can just say with all sincerity, I got the travel bug, and it is insane. <laughs> after uh, learning so much from Houston, um, my folks in Houston, after having a good time in Houston, after getting some business done, learning about how to run a gas station, how to deal with different contracts of running a, a gas station and all that good stuff. I can definitely say um, the one thing I can say that I've learned is the entrepreneur is never truly content and the entrepreneur is never truly satisfied because they always have a deep thirst and a hunger for two things, knowledge and experience. And make it three things, knowledge, experience, and implementation slash, slash execution of getting certain things done. So... Um, cause I was just analyzing and, you know, and having the opportunity to talk to different entrepreneurs while I've been down here and they're, they're telling me all the different business ventures that they've gotten into that, you know, they become successful at one and they, um, you let some time go by and buy into another one. And one gentleman, I won't mention his name. He, he made the reference and I think I'd have to agree with that. He's like, well, He's like, in a sense, being an entrepreneur is like being an employee. I said, really? Why you say that? Or being a business owner, in a sense, is, well, an entrepreneur, not a business owner, because a lot of people are business owners, but they only own one specific business and they don't ever venture into other, anything else. You know, like the term venture capitalist. And the gentleman stated that, you know, people that um, hold a multitude of uh, trades, he, t he talked about his uncle, who was, um, was a um, master um, electrician, but was in a sense a jack of all trades, but he became a master electrician first before he w moved into other areas that he dabbled in a little bit more, um, like, you know, carpentry and plumbing and things of that nature. But he actually started, you know, delving in those areas to become at least good at the specific trades, but not masters at those trades, you know, because he didn't want to be the, ma the jack of all trades and the master of none. He said, but being an entrepreneur is the same way because you master something or get good at something. And then you move on to something else if you're bored or you just want to venture into the next new big thing. You know, he talked about, you know, he said he and he made a great, great example. He said, man, look at Shark Tank. I said, you know what? I didn't think about that. He said, look at all the judges um, that they have on Shark Tank. You know, they switch them up, but they usually have the the, the normal, you know, the um, Mark Cubans, the Gary got his last name I think I, yeah whatever the name is and Damon Johns you know they're the normal you know people that you know Barbara Cork and um they're the normal people that they actually have on those on that show but they're good at certain things but they like to venture and make money off of other people's businesses and invest in those other businesses because they see the, the potential to not only make money but they see the potential to make other people's dreams come true at the same time and it gives them a, a, a chance to learn something and get more experience it's the same thing with an employee an employee goes from you know especially in today's i'd say probably within the last 20 years it's become normal for employees to jump from job to job or whatnot either chasing money or chasing different experiences and different skill sets you know um getting an adapt and overcome mentality you know, because that's the beautiful thing about people that are in the military, that they, they serve, you know, 10 to 20 years, sometimes 30 years in the military. Um, they can become a jack of multiple trades. They can master trade certain things. And um, when they have they move around so much, so they have to uh, learn how to adapt to new areas and learn how the, uh, the mission set is different in those, those different commands that they serve in. So, you know, that's a beautiful thing. It's the same thing in the world of being an entrepreneur, same thing in the world of being today an employer. You know, you because um, most people that work in private um, private sector are not, there's no such thing as real loyalty for any, you know, maybe for a short amount of time, but not, you know, long-term amount of time. Like it used to be 30, 50, to 60 years ago and whatnot. You know, the corporation was everything. You know, you work for GM, you work for Ford, you know, you work for one corporation for, 30 to 40 years and you got your retirement pension back when pensions were a thing and you got your gold watch and you know they gave you your walking papers you know? but you know today's world it's much more fast paced one and two uh, people have the opportunity to make a specific amount of money moves um, because they know that doing one specific job is not the way it, because not only just from a learning perspective but they know that they could jeopardize them in the future if they're not 
always looking for the next best job. It's like the same thing with entrepreneurs. They're not always looking for the next best company to invest in, things of that nature. So, um, and for me, it's like getting, I have the most best experiences when I travel the most. When I travel more and I get to meet different people with different perspectives because, you know, nothing wrong with the DMV area, but, you know, the aura in the DMV area is not the aura for me. Like a lot of people, I get why a lot of people move to Atlanta now, especially a lot of black entrepreneurs, because they want to be in an atmosphere. You know, it's not a perfect city, but they, you know, that you have a big population of black business owners, a big population of um, black entrepreneurs. So it's very normal. The culture of entrepreneurship and thinking outside of the I'm only going to have a job box is very big, and very real. You know, if you look at the guy that has a podcast, David Never Sleeps, he, he lives in Atlanta. You look at Derek Grace, he lives in Atlanta. He, he left Tampa Bay, Florida to live in Atlanta because he wanted to be in a place where business is being conducted and pe- the mindsets of people having access to uh, other entrepreneurs, and other businesses, and other venture capital capitalists and things of that nature. I, th- I think that's really the best thing. And that's to anyone out there, if you're living in an area that's not um, aligning with your values, aligning with the things you want to do in the, your life, I'm going to say like the movie that came out a couple of years ago, get out, okay? Because, and I've made this analogy before, I don't think I made it with this area, but you know, people can get fallen into the, if you've seen the movie Get Out, you know what I'm about to say. People, it's very easy for people to fall into the sunken place because it, it becomes normal to them. What you might not like becomes normal. And therefore, if it becomes normal, then it becomes easy to deal with and therefore it's, it's not challenging. And therefore, you're not scared to you're you're not worried about um, take taking a leap because you know taking a leap for you it, is basically something that's going to scare the living crap out of you. So, if you're in a sunken place of a place where you live at, run, 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 get out, get out, get out. Um, that's my message. You know the the beautiful thing about the travel bug for me is I get to connect with like-minded individuals. So. The sunken place for me is a DMV area. Let me know what your sunken place is. All right. Do the great three free things, family. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as I always say, make money moves or you can live broke like a fool. Take care, family.